Welcome to Snippets with Laz. Today we're going to be making homemade Taco Bell Chalupa Supremes. Here's how you make it. To a pan on medium heat, add in some oil. Then you're going to add in your meat. Choose any meat of your liking. I went with ground turkey. Any meat you choose will do fine. Once you've added in all your meat, I used about a pound of ground turkey. You're going to begin adding in your ingredients. Each ingredient will pop up on the screen. First thing you'll need is one tablespoon of garlic powder. Then you'll add in one tablespoon of paprika. Then you'll add in one tablespoon of parsley. Then you'll add one tablespoon of onion powder. Then you'll add one teaspoon of black pepper. One teaspoon of cumin. And for this recipe, I did not use salt, but if you'd like to add salt, salt is optional. You could use one teaspoon of salt. Lightly mix the meat together, and then you're going to cover with a lid to allow it to steam. This will allow the juices to flow through the meat. Once the meat has cooked for about two to three minutes, you're gonna remove the lid and begin to mix the meat again. You're going to cover the meat again for another five minutes. After five minutes, it'll look like this. Begin to chop up your meat until it's finely chopped. Again, this is going to be going on a taco, so however chopped up you would like your meat, begin to chop it up. Once you've chopped up your meat, turn off the heat and set it to the side, and we can begin to make the flatbread. To a mixer, you're going to add one cup of water. Then you'll add three egg yolks. And then you'll add one and one fourth teaspoon of salt. Once you've added those ingredients to the mixer, you can begin mixing. Allow the egg yolk to thoroughly mix with the water and salt. Once the liquid mix is completed mixing, you're going to add in your dry ingredients. That will include three cups of flour and two teaspoons of baking powder. Allow that to mix. It should take no more than a few seconds for the dough to be able to combine. As you can see in the mixer, you'll notice that all the dough, along with the egg and flour, will begin to unstick and form a dough-like consistency. Once the dough is completed and there's no longer any flour along the bowl of the mixer, you're going to take the dough out and begin to prep it to roll. Now we're going to begin to roll our dough. On a clean surface or a cutting board, add some flour. This will help the dough from sticking to the board or the surface that you're using to roll your dough. Transfer your dough over to the flour surface. Begin rolling the dough over itself into a ball shape. Then you'll roll it into a small football. Once you've rolled it, you're going to split it in half. Take one half, move it to the side. Roll the dough again to make it elongate it, and then you're going to cut this dough into four small pieces and then repeat to the other half of the dough. Once you have your eight divided dough pieces, you're going to pat it with some flour and then roll it in your hand. This step is important in order to make the dough flat. You want to make sure that you're rolling it into a ball. You'll repeat this step until all the dough 
and rolls into a circle. Now we're going to flatten out the dough. I'm using my hands. You can use a rolling pin. And this step is where you're going to add in your cheese for the cheesy chalupa. You want to fold the dough over the cheese, pinch the top, roll it into a ball, and then flatten it out. This step is important because you want to make sure that the dough is covering the cheese so that when you do fry it, the cheese doesn't ooze out. You'll use a rolling pin to flatten out your dough. Once you've rolled your flatbread, you'll set it to the side on parchment paper. You'll want to repeat this step for all eight of your flatbread pieces. Once all your flatbread are completed, you're going to place a pan on the stove on medium heat, add some cooking spray, and you're going to add in your flatbread. You'll know the flatbread is ready to flip once the top begins to bubble. You'll start to see little air pockets of bubbles pop up at the top of the flatbread. From there, you'll flip it over, Flatten it and repeat until both sides are golden brown. Once the flatbread is complete, remove from the stovetop and place on a plate. Now let's get our butter garlic sauce ready. In a small container, add in your butter, place in the microwave for 30 seconds. Then you'll add in your garlic. Then you'll add in some parsley. You can add any other ingredients that you would like. This is just what I'm adding to the top of my flatbread. With the cooking brush, you're going to lightly brush your flatbread on both sides. And here is the end result of all the garlic herb flatbread completed. You can see the little bit of cheese that's there on the inside. It's so good. To make it a chalupa, you are going to fry in the pan on both sides until crispy, add in your meat, Lettuce, I chose cucumber and guac, and you can add whatever toppings you would like, and that is how you make a chalupa. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button. Subscribe for more videos.